Safety barrier. Safety barrier are common term in risk analysis in safety engineer and is partially overlapping with the safety critical system. For example, emergency procedure. It can be the safety barrier, but is it not the safety critical system? Safety barrier system in safety engineering are also called a defense, safeguard, or countermeasure or protection layer. A safety barrier system may perform one or more safety barrier function and may usually be split into several barrier subsystem and elements. Classification of the safety barrier. Safety barrier may be classified according to the whether they are active or passive, technical or human, or how often they are demand. Start with the proactive or reactive safety barrier. Proactive safety barrier or frequently reduced barrier is a safety barrier which is installed to prevent one or more undesired event to reduce the reduction, the frequency of undesired event. For reactive safety barrier or consequent reduction barrier, it is a safety barrier which is installed to remove or mitigate the consequence of one or more undesired event. So proactive is prevent, reaction is mitigation. Next one, passive and active safety barrier. Passive safety barrier is a barrier which is the safety function is always available as inherent property. Example of the passive safety barrier shut at a firewall, heat shield, or means of physical separation shut at the fence. Active safety barrier is a barrier is not always available, but will be performed in less one to certain event. For example, emergency shutdown system or ESD function in the process pan is an activated safety barrier which will be activated when dangerous situation occur. Next one, mode of operation. Safety barrier may be categorized according to how often the barrier function are demand. Typically, they are separated in three demand mode, depend on how frequently of activation of function of safety function per year. First one, low demand mode. A safety barrier will be demand on one often than once per year. For example, the ESD function for oil and gas petrochemical petroleum factory will be considered as low demand mode. Or the airbag system in the car is also considered as low demand mode. Second one, high demand mode. A safety barrier will be demand more often than once per year. For example, the sensing of the robot machine in automation factory in the car production factory. That is to be considered as a high demand mode. And the last one, continuous mode. A safety barrier is classified as continuous mode when its function is always crucial. In this case, the safety barrier is integrated with the control system and is undesired even will occur when the safety barrier fails. Example of the safety barrier operating in continuous mode are fly-by-wire system for flight control of the aircraft and dynamic positioning system for ship and offshore platform. This is the example table for safety barrier and classify of low demand and high demand. For the example, ESD system, we classify as a low demand, fire and scare detection in the process pan, we classify as a low demand. Signaling system for railway, we should classify as high demand. Airbag system in automation in the car, we classify as a low demand. Anti-lock braking system in automobile, we consider this one is a high demand. Next one, technical and human or organization safety barrier. Technically, safety barrier are a safety barrier where the barrier function is performed by technical system, such as the working procedure, operation manual, and etc. Human and organization safety barrier. 
A human barrier is a safety barrier where the barrier function is carried out by one or more people, sometimes by using technical safety barrier as well. Example safety barrier in a process plan. A process plan usually has a length of the safety barrier amongst there are fire and gas detection system, emergency shutdown system, fire explosion wall, fire extinguisher system, pressure safety system, passive fire protection, and fire and evaluation training. Example safety barrier related to the fire in building. Several safety barriers may be used to reduce the risk related to the fire in the building, such as smoke detection and alert system, thermal detection and alert system, smoke control and air handling system, evaluation plan and emergency procedure, fire door and fire walls, exit side and emergency lining, sprinkle system. What is the benefit to study the safety barrier? Studying the safety barrier is a tool to demonstrate the risk arising from the major hazard at the establishment are as low as reasonably practicable or allowed. This requirement is stated in the EC Directive 9682EC or Service to Directive, which has been implemented in the Great Britain as a control of major hazard accident. Regulation in 1999 that we know as a coma. So, knowing the function of its safety barrier will be input in the detailed safety engineering review study, such as the line of defense or LOD, layer of protection analysis or LOPA, technical risk audit method or TLAM, protection layer analysis and optimization of PLANOP, Shortcut Risk Assessment Method or SCRAM, or Safety Barrier Diagram and Bowtie Analysis. So this is the benefit of the safety barrier. So we should know the safety barrier as much as we can. Then we can further study in more detail of the safety engineering. Thank you so much for watching my video and let's see in the next video. Bye-bye.